Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tim, and welcome to the TNA, the show where the answers keep flowing as long as the questions keep rolling in. And speaking of, if you'd like to get your questions in, feel free to leave them in the comments below, or send them directly to me, at Tim Leftwich, both on the Rooster Teeth site and on Twitter. Now with that out of the way, our first question today comes from Scrambled Titan on Twitter, who asks, what was one of your best childhood memories? You know, I think one of my best is also one of my earliest. My grandmother took me on a trip to Blowing Rock, North Carolina when I was growing up. And there was a place, oh gosh, the name of it was the Farmhouse, maybe? It was a small dinner and show place. They gave you a very fancy dinner and then put on a play afterwards. And the play that night, I was told many years later, was um, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. And we ate a very lovely dinner. It was the first time that my grandmother felt old, uh, that I was old enough to go out to a fancy place like that and not embarrass her. She's very southern genteel, you know. And um, I remember distinctly going into the playroom after the playhouse, whatever you want to call it, the theater where they had the play going on after dinner. And it was impressed upon me very distinctly. Even at the young age of probably six, maybe, maybe seven, that the people that were on stage right now, everyone around me was paying attention to them. They, they were somehow important. Which, of course, you know, in hindsight, really makes a lot of sense when it comes to what I ended up choosing as my career path. It's funny how things work out like that. And our next question comes from Odd Little Duck on Twitter who asks, What is your favorite color? Oh gosh, it really depends on the day and the season and the year. I mean, it changes very often. But usually it airs on the side of darker hues of things. I like dark green. I like a dark, you know, royal purple. I like uh, a good navy blue. I usually tend to skew on the darker hues of things. But that's not always true because... I mean, nothing beats a great sky blue, is that right? And everyone loves the color of lightish red. It's just, I don't know. Favorite color, favorite anythings are hard for me. But then again, I don't know if there is one color that I love enough to kind of like label my entire life around it, you know? There's just too many. There's too many choices to limit yourself to one. I guess that's kind of going back to that whole not being able to choose favorites thing. God, there's a theme to all of this, isn't there? Our third question today comes from at Hightower's World, who asks, how big is your penis? <sighs> big enough to get the job done, small enough to not be a burden, I think is pretty much what I'm going to say on that. Question number four, from at Kisty Nocturne, would you be up to making a show about props, like tricks people could use besides sex shops? <laughs> That's actually going back to something really funny. I had to buy some trick handcuffs for the RT experience booth during RTX. And instead of like trying to go to a joke shop or a magic shop or something like that, which can be pretty difficult to find in most major cities, you can just go to your local BDSM store because as it turns out, they have handcuffs that you can be let out of pretty easily. So... Yeah, that's kind of a handy trick for a prop guy. You know, I would I would enjoy gathering tips like that as I go about my work week or work month or whatever and then compiling them. Maybe that is something I can do in the future. We'll see. And our last question today is from at DCC Rules on Twitter who asks, if given the opportunity, would you voice act in a Rooster Teeth production? And if so, what would you be most excited to participate in? Oh, gosh. Um... Well, I would have to be asked first. Like, there's no way that I would ever try and shoehorn my way into anything. Uh, if I did have a choice, I would really love to either do, like, motion capture for Ruby or Red vs. Blue. Maybe get in a little bit of my fight skills that I haven't gotten to use in a long time. Or if it was just voice acting. I mean, the world of X-Ray and Vav just has so many different silly things in it. And it's becoming its own amalgamation of everything we kind of do and then so much more all of the other jokes we never really get to explore and make that seems like it would be kind of a great thing to be a part of you know so yeah 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 i think i'll go with that i think i'll go with x-ray and vav 
And I think that'll about do us for today, ladies and gentlemen. That is five questions asked and answered. I hope that's a pretty good amount for you, at least to leave you wanting more for next time. And speaking of, if you want more for next time, make sure you submit your questions to me either in the comments below or directly to me at Tim Leftwich on Twitter or on the Rooster Teeth site. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and as always, we'll see you next time. Thank you.